What's up guys, Nishad here, and welcome back to the 3D printing channel. Today I have a new 3D printing creation for you. This was our first attempt at a lithophane. Now, if you don't know what a lithophane is, basically it's a 2D image imprinted onto a 3D design. And basically how that's done is the 3D printer prints various different lengths and sizes and depths in order to make the image look like the actual image when you put a light behind it. So here is our end result. Now, before I tell you about the actual lithophane, I just want to mention that I did not think this would turn out as good as it did. Um, I was honestly not really expecting it. I was kind of confused on how it worked. But uh, as with 3D printing, I was really amazed by it. It's a really cool design, and uh, you should definitely try it out if you have a 3D printer at home. So as you can see, here's our lithophane itself. We, you, as you can see, there's a black border around it. And for our light, we used a tea light. So basically all you need to do is turn on the light and it'll kind of, it'll kind of illuminate the whole thing as you can see right here. So basically once you have your image um, that you would like to 3D print, you go to a website or software um, the website we went to was itslitho.com, but there are lots of websites um, for you to choose from. And you go there and you import your, you just kind of add your image and it'll give you a lot of settings. And this, we've picked a curve right here, but you can also do squares, circles, you can do a sphere, a pyramid and hearts. There, there's lots of shapes you can do, but um, this is just a cylinder. and. The website uh, slash software, it only created the image part, the white part of the litho, litho um, uh, gram. It's lithophane. But you, we added the black, um, the box, the trim. We added this um, on Tinkercad and we kind of printed them separately and added them together. Um, but some other settings that you would uh, make sure to, to know is Lithograms litho, uh, won't uh, work. Not with again! A, it's lithophane! Uh, uh, lower infill. So you need to have your infill at 100%. Um, it can't do any of those gridded lines and patterns because otherwise it won't it won't shine the image. So make sure to do 100% infill. Um, additionally, we also used a 0 0.4 nozzle to get all those finer details. But um, also, make sure to use white filament. Um, all the other colored filaments won't exactly work with a lithogram. For the last time, it's lithophane! So, that's how it kind of works. And as you can see, this is also kind of curved to give it a, more of a nice edge. So, yeah, that was kind of our lithophane experiment. We're going to actually print, try printing some other ones. Uh, maybe bigger ones and different pictures so stay tuned for that but i'll see you on the next one basically act as a fake light instead of a flame okay i didn't need to redo <laughs> no pain